Hello and welcome back to Secret of Mana. So we have been grinding up our magic to level 1 and now we can finally go to the underground palace. We have the power of ice so we should be able to do something there. So I guess we're we're just gonna move. Um, yeah, if I can get some critical hits I can kill some enemies but uh, Yeah, we're just gonna be on our way. Yeah. So now we're killing stuff pretty fast here with three characters. Aha. So, did I uh, change uh, Yumi's action grid like last time or? Two episodes before, uh, ago. Can't remember. But no, I mean she's attacking, so I guess I did. It should be fine. Aha. Okay, so I'm just gonna take the shortcut to get down to the caves faster. And uh, yeah. Sometimes the AI in this game is not very user-friendly. Um, they will do... Actually, they won't really do anything. They will just get stuck uh, in certain spots and whatnot. So sometimes you might have to switch characters just to get them to move out of there. We'll probably see some examples of that. Um, later in the game. There are some really nice areas with lots of tight cor uh, corners and stuff for your characters to get stuck in. But I guess that's why I generally do not like playing with uh, NPCs. Uh, of course in this game you really don't have a choice. I can't believe she got hit by that guy. But oh well. Um, but generally, you know, when you have the choice of, you know, bringing an NPC with you or whatever. Um, I usually do not do that. Even in modern games such as like Skyrim, I wouldn't do that because it's just annoying. Oh, by the way, you can forge some weapons here, I guess. Which one's ready? Um, yeah, we have uh, these things. Power glove. Power glove! And the boomerang. Chakram. Do the spear no. And not the bow. Okay. We're gonna get another one here soon anyway. I guess uh no, I I, I don't have to save. I saved right before um, beginning this episode, so it's fine. Here is the underground palace. With the music that made me pick my um, my username. Well, at least on my other channel called Mystic Invasion, because this song is called Mystic Invasion, so it's a very good song. But as I said, this game just it has a lot of really really good music in it. So here we go. We got some stronger enemies. These guys can actually hurt us. Um. As you can see, I'm stuck now, which is great. And I guess that um, is it. I guess it is a green moblin. I'm, I'm sorry, goblin that spawns the other one. So, ow! No, it isn't. It's the pink ones that spawn. Oh, come on! You have a lot of hit points, don't you? Okay. Oh, we have more of these guys. That's fine, though. I guess I will fight enemies here because, you know, they're stronger. They give more experience, so it's worth it. If things take too long, I won't, but... Let me see, I don't remember where to go here. Oh, we have another uh, green drop here. Long time no see. 
Although you should be easier to kill now, I hope. And you don't give quite as good experience anymore. Now that we need more... Oh, come on. Can, could you stop getting poisoned? All the damn time. Okay, let's run over to the other side. Um, the length of these palaces vary, you know. Some are really short, some are long. I think this one is fairly short, but I cannot actually remember. It's been a while since I played this game, so... Huh. Oh, that was easy. Alright, let's move on. What do we have in here? More of these goblins. It's just a goblin. Oh. He died quick. Yeah, I can hear snoring. Ow. Man, I haven't bought any heal. Oh, well, that's right. We we have our spell now. But still, it's always good to have some healing items on you because, you know. Oh, come on. Please. Please. Would you stop with your boomerangs? See, this is the annoying part about this game sometimes. You know, you get you get stuck in you know, just getting hit over and over and over and over and over and over and over again. Oh, a bomb. Is she gonna survive that? Good. Anyway, we have to whip o over again here. So, I guess, um... Oh, hold on a second. I'm gonna switch to the boy. And use our pole dart. Haha! -ha. That way you can get some distance from these guys. Because they are very annoying. Okay, I need to keep an eye on the HP here because these guys are really not letting us um, do much. Okay, it's you I need to hit, not the other guys, because you will just spawn more if they die. Oh, thank you. Okay, we're going in with some melee weapons. Screw this. And I'm just gonna go. Because these guys became a bit too annoying. This one should be easier to kill. Since we have the upper hand here. Or maybe not. Okay, now we're good. Now we can finish these guys off. I'm a bit worried about Sprite, but... Um, oh no, we have those guys too. The chest pieces. I guess what I could do is just sprint, and there we go. Another one of you? Hopefully, Sprite King in a level here too. This is a sage room. What? You can't barge in here. We gnomes won't allow it. What a windbag, little rat. Oh, it's a fight! Oh no! Take this! This is an outrage! Shoutouts to Udina from Mass Effect. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm out of here! Look! Back there! Uh oh. We have a boss. So, I am going to go ahead and heal Sprite. I guess we could heal all of us, but no, I'm gonna heal Sprite now. So, this guy could be extremely annoying, or he could be uh, fairly nice, but I think what I will do is just resort to using magic. Um, because these fire gigases, or these gigases, um, this guy, <laughs> he can be quite annoying sometimes, so. I wasn't sure exactly how much magic I wanted to use 
in this game for these bosses because it, it is fun to, you know, try finding them without using too much magic because magic is so OP. But, um... Sometimes, you know, they are, um, they are just too annoying. They will never give you a chance to do anything. So... And he hits pretty hard. So I think ma some magic here and there would be nice. You can still cast a cure several times, so it, it should be good. Um, yeah, let's use another free spell. Oops. Boom. Take some more damage. Oh my god. We're gonna survive this. Um, we need some heal. And... Um, oh man. Not Sprite! I need Sprite! And see, you know, you cannot... Uh, I mean, magic will always hit. That's just how it is. Um, you will not be able to get away from it, so I'm just gonna give Sprite a chocolate bar. That should heal him up good. You know, you could charge while waiting for this guy, but... Uh, yeah, as you can see, we're not doing too much damage to him. Um, high defense. High evasion. It's just kind of annoying. Um, so, here we go again. <laughs> I'm gonna have to heal. Um, I guess I can negate this spell by having a sprite cast another uh, spell here, so. Yeah, there we go. Good. Yeah, he was uh, pretty annoying there. So usually, the way I go about it is, uh, if I'm on one of those playthroughs where bosses just won't give me a break, then I will use magic on them. If they're nicer, I I might resort to you know just try to kill them with media attacks. We'll see. Axis orb, and I think I gained a level. So awesome. Let's go. It's the second seed. Phew, thanks. That oath was always bugging me. Forgive me. I used you to get some relief. Adult, serve me and maybe I'll forgive you. Otherwise, I'll throw you to my servant, Randy. Aye! No, let me be your servant. Hey, who are you calling a servant? Oh dear. Anyway, call me anytime, anywhere. Now, close your eyes. Both you and your wife may summon me. What? Me married to that? I like your style, gnome. Well, that's that. Be seeing you. So, we got some more magic! Yay! Gnome's power! Awesome. Two Demala Seed. So here we go. It's the second seed. Which means that now we can actually build up Undyne all the way to level 2. And, as well as, obviously, Gnome's power, so... That means we have another level we need to gain for um, for our magic. Hey, Sprite! Huh? Oh! My head! Are you right? Oh. What's wrong? Phew! I can remember everything now. Wow, that's a lot. We live in the Upper Land Forest. You've got to take me there. I'll let you hang out with me until we arrive. What a treat. Alright, so... Can I use the magic rope now? Yes, I can. Here we go. So it was magic... It was, it was magical after all. It wasn't just a rope. Anyway. So, we need to go to the upper lands, but if you remember... Um... You know, we have, you know, there was a lot of talk about the ruins, I guess, east of Pandora. So perhaps we should go there. 
that's where Dylock went anyway, or he was sent over there, so... Anyway, I'm gonna forge the axe. And there we go. Thank you, Watt. I'll be back. So yeah, I guess before we can go to the Upper Lands, we need to take care of the troubles in Pandora. If I remember correctly. So, back we go. Haha. -ha. I'm just gonna run. Run! Oh, by the way. So let's take a look at our new powers that we got. So for Sprite, we got Earth Slide. Gem Missile. Which, this is the one that the Mantis Hand can use in our first boss. And... Speed Down, which is what I will use to level Gnome's Magic, because it just costs 1 MP. Okay, so Yumi got Stone Saber, never used. Defender, which is what I use to level up Gnome's Magic with her. Um, I guess, you know, this ups your defense. And then Speed Up, which obviously would make you faster. Again, never used it, so I usually don't use the, uh, the buffs. Too much. There are some that I use, but generally, as I said, Yumi's magic is not too useful to me, except for the um, the cure water. And um, I guess there is. I can think of one more that I use a lot when we get it, but that's way later in the game. Um, there might be another one, another one or two that I will use. So it's back to Pandora, to all the zombies. But we need to rescue Dialog, right? Haha. -ha. Yeah, I'm not gonna fight too much. It takes too long. But we're, we're starting to do some decent damage here. Well, I guess... Well, I can do 40, so that's cool. Right. Across this beautiful field. We're almost there. Just a little bit more... I guess I can destroy you. And you too. It's just so much fun fighting enemies. I don't know, sometimes it is. It really is, you know, you gotta get a feel for the battles in this game, because this game, it, it can be pretty unforgiving, actually. And, um, I guess mainly because, you know, the battles happen in real time, but they're still trying to follow, you know, traditional RPG rule sets, I guess. Um, it can be a bit clunky, but you get a feel for it, definitely. So where are these ruins? They're down here. Hello. Huh? Fana! What's the matter? What? She disappeared! Let's check out the ruins down there. Alrighty. Ooh, we got some creepy looking statues there. But here we go. Hello? Hello? Huh. Oh, there's Fana. I need to talk to you. Yumi, I'm going on a one-way trip. Pretty neat, huh? Come on, Fana. Snap out of it. Shut up. Oh, man. Stop bothering me. Fana! Fana! Hey, you. Make room. There you go. Unless we hurry, Fan has a goner. Dalek's probably here too. Yeah, let's go. Oh, but wait. Time's up. We're gonna have to do this next time. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time. Bye.